Consider this problem. x raised to the x raised to the x power is equal to 1 half raised to the square root of 2. What is the value of x? Go ahead and take a minute and try this problem. Now, what do you think we need to do here in order to solve this particular exponential equation? Well, what we need to do is we need to adjust the information on the right side such that we get a number raised to the same number raised to the same number. Whatever that number is, that is going to be the value of x. And so that's what we're trying to do in this video. Now, before we get started, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell. I'm also going to be posting more videos in the description section below um, if you like uh, these type of, you know, hard, challenging problems. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, let's get back to this problem. The square root of 2 can be rewritten as 2 raised to the 1 half. So that's the first thing we want to do. We want to get rid of the radical. Now, what do you think we need to do next? Well, we need to add something. We need to add numbers without changing the value of the expression. So let's say if you have a number 5. If you add 4 and negative 4, the value of the expression doesn't change because 4 plus negative 4 adds up to 0, and so the entire value remains 5. Or, let's say if you have 8, and you multiplied it by 3 times 1 third. Because 3 times 1 third is 8, I mean, because 3 times 1 third is 1, 8 times 1 will be the same. It will still be 8. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the final exponent 1 half, and we're going to multiply it by 2 times 1 half. Because 2 times 1 half is 1, the value of the expression does not change. But what we can do is multiply 1 half by 1 half. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. So what we're going to have is we're going to have 2 and then times 1 fourth. So both of these numbers are exponents to that 2. Now, the next thing we could do is we can adjust what we have here. That's 2 to the second power. 2 to the second power is 4. So we're going to have 1 half raised to the fourth power. And then that is raised to the 1 fourth. So it's not 4 times 1 fourth, but 4 raised to the 1 fourth. Now, what do you think we need to do at this point? We we'll need to add some more numbers like we did here. So this is what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite 1 half. And then this 4, we're going to multiply it by 2 times a half because that's still 1. And then it's going to be times 4 to the 1 fourth. So we've introduced this part. And now we could use this 2 and square the 1 half. 1 squared is just 1, but 2 squared is 4. So we have 1 fourth, and then that is raised to, this is still there, so that's raised to the 1 half times 4 to the 1 fourth. Now, what do you recommend we should do next? We can't multiply 1 half by 4 because the exponents of those two numbers are not the same. 4 is raised to the 1 fourth, 1 half is not. But we can change 1 half into a number that has that exponential fraction. We know that 2 to the 4th power is 16. So the 4th root of 16 is 2, which means that the 4th root of 16, by the way, is 16 to the 1 fourth. So that's equal to 2. To get 1 half, we need to use a negative exponent. 16 to the negative 1 fourth is 1 over 2. And whenever you have a negative exponent, you could take this number and move it 
below the fraction. So we can write that as 1 over 16 to the 1 fourth, and that's equal to 1 half. Now this expression is equivalent to saying 1 over 16 all raised to the 1 fourth. So what we're going to do is replace, we're going to replace 1 half with 1 over 16 raised to the 1 fourth because they're equivalent to each other. And so this is going to be 1 over 4 raised to the 1 over 16, which is raised to the 1 fourth. And then that is multiplied by 4 raised to the 1 fourth. Now, because the exponents are the same, we can multiply 4 and 1 over 16. So we're going to get 4 over 16 with the same exponential fraction raised to the 1 fourth. Now 4 is just 4 times 1. 16 is 4 times 4. And so we could cross out a 4 and thus we have our answer. So x raised to the x raised to the x is equal to 1 fourth raised to the 1 fourth raised to the 1 fourth. So therefore, we could say that x is equal to 1 over 4. And so that's the answer for this particular problem. So as you can see, it requires a knowledge of exponents and radicals and the fact that you can introduce numbers if the value is equal to 1 if you're multiplying two numbers. If you're adding numbers, it has to add up to 0.